Um, but right now, I got Kevin Green with me here in studio, uh, senior markets correspondent. KGs kind of looks like the real deal here today. They're, they're trying. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, you know, you would think that we would have compression going into that FOMC meeting tomorrow, especially with that retail sales print, which, you know, it was decent, came in line with expecta expectations, but nothing like too alarming right. to the upside or downside, right? Yep. Uh, but the market's saying, hey, hold my beer. We're going to continue to move higher. Let's try to get to uh, all-time highs. Now, if we're kind of looking at the open interest chart on the five-day, 15-minute, uh, we are already hitting a key area of resistance at positive gamma level sitting at 56.50. Uh, so we would expect maybe a little bit of resistance here at this level for now, uh, especially when we start the, the day off in um, uh, a positive gamma territory, right, where we could see some sellers trying to get in. Uh, so it's the bar, like, automatically high. Exactly. But you know? if you break out, and if you do see a breakout, 56.65 is going to be your breakout out of that kind of range. Okay. Uh, I mean, we kind of have a little bit of clear sail sailing. Now, yesterday, uh, we did see some positioning going into the 5,700 calls. So what does that mean? That means that we had an individuals that were sitting at the 5650s or even the 5600 calls uh, that were selling those calls, now they rolled those positions to the upside, right? Higher strikes, trying to give their uh, portfolios a little bit more room in order for them to be profitable. Ultimately, that is bullish. Now, this morning, when I'm doing my quick scan here, it seems like the only bearish positioning that I see right now, two of them that are coming in, the 5585 puts right now, getting a little bit of love, still early in the session, around 2700 contracts being traded right there, trading at around a buck. And the have the 5,600 puts also gaining a little bit of love here today. But outside of that, it's all call side skew. Uh, so this market's going to try to continue to rally here uh, into that print tomorrow. Yeah, it's amazing how much we have uh, breezed through potential places of resistance. Yeah. You know, we cruised through 5,500 in a single candle when NVIDIA was ramping up last week. Cruised through the bottom of the range from late August from like 5,560 up to 5,600. And now we're just taking, well, basically, you took three days there around that, uh, yeah. not even like, sorry, like a day and a half uh, between that kind of 56, mid-56 range. So the market is just really impressive here. And I think uh, it's also telling us, too, that um, even though tech has had some good spurts in here, it really hasn't been all tech, and that's really important. I think people are encouraged by that. Yeah, market breadth is definitely widening out, and that's been uh, the case here for the last month, month and a half, right? Even if we had these down days or these aggressive pullback type of days, we also have to keep in mind the S&P 500 is market cap weighted. So if you have a drag on NVIDIA or you have a drag on Apple, it's going to put some downward pressure. Yeah. But a lot of these smaller stocks are picking up here. From a technical standpoint, if we can bring that chart back up on okay. open interest, uh, what we did see yesterday as well as from Friday – a consolidation, right? Maybe it's a flag mm -hmm. pattern that's taking place. We, you know, call it a, a bull flag. Basically, we're in a bullish trend. We consolidate out, or maybe we even see a little bit of a pullback before pushing higher. That's exactly what we have. So the technical landscape right now actually looks very favorable for a continuation to the upside, um, as uh, rather than a breakdown. And I think that you're right. Tomorrow, though. Let's just think about the, the concepts and, and what could actually shake this market. That's all, uh, always what I'm looking sure, at. Sure, yeah. What could throw us off? Um, if you're kind of looking at the SEP, the Summary of Economic Projections, their PCE targets sitting at around 2.6%, we're pretty much right there. Are they going to change that for the remainder of the year? Probably not. We might have a little bit of an adjustment for next year. If you're looking at the unemployment rate, we're sitting at 4.2%. Their target's at 4% for mm. the end of this year. Yeah. Could we see that rise to the upside? Maybe. Definitely. But yeah. I think the market's already probably based for that. But the, the If you do that with 50, if they like way up their unemployment projection yeah. and then they do 50, then people could go, whoa, 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 you guys are really scared. So that's one yeah. possible combination that maybe would be less favorable. Well, if you look at it, their unemployment target for 2025 is 4.2%. So we're yeah. already kind of there. Yeah, they so got to really push adjust that. that. I think yeah, the only to. major adjustment that you could probably see is uh, going to be core PC inflation because that's been a lot more uh, you know, mm -hmm. stickier and yeah. it's a little bit higher than what the street's expectations are. Uh, barring any type of major adjustment when it comes to the summary of economic projections for 2025, well, let's X out the Fed funds target because that's what we're all focusing on tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure what Powell can say to really dis uh, disrupt the markets. Yeah. I have a feeling, though, that maybe 25 basis points is now the bear case, mm. and 50 basis points is now <laughs> like already been yeah. priced in. Right now, yeah, if it's we got 25, juiced up. It's, sure. not, it's not good enough, and then totally. we could see that reversal. Even though I'm right there with Kev, uh, he's talked about it uh, earlier today, You know, 25 basis points makes sense. But if the market's already getting ahead of itself, not only just when you're talking about fixed income products or treasuries, mm -hmm. but also equities. Yeah. 
do they come in a little bit lower than that expectation and really try to you well, know, spit, that, smart the streets? So. No, you're right. I mean, the last that's why the last two days was so interesting since that journal article because the market used to not like 50 as an idea, and then all of a sudden it started liking 50. Yeah. So that's kind of where now, to your point, maybe we're a little juiced up, hoping yeah. for the 50 instead of the 25. Thanks, KG. Appreciate the look at the levels too.